Hello, this is Sheila Finkelstein of Technology for Seniors Made Easy.com. This tutorial is how to upload photos and create a photo album on Facebook. Facebook is very good, very complete with instructions for everything you need to do there. And for me and other people I know, sometimes it's a challenge to find out where, what you want, exactly where it is. So I'm going to show you how to do the uploading and I'm also going to show you where you can find it on Facebook so if you don't remember in the future on Facebook you can come to Technology for Seniors and check it out just doing a keyword search okay so I am on not my home page this is my profile page so everything I post will be on this particular profile page on the home page or what other people post. Okay, so the first thing you see is status and what's on your mind. And in there, there's a place, photo. Clicking on photo gives me a choice of uploading photos, view a choice also, or create a photo album. In this case, first, I'm going to just upload a photo. Okay, you'll see it opens up the space uh, in your computer find the folder where you know the um, picture is that you want to do and I've checked this and I my friend Blaze took this photo a long time ago and I never uploaded it it's me and power so I also have the choice of adding another photo with a plus sign or simply and you, know, you could keep adding photos there so adding multiple photos uh, just to show you, um, you saw a video when, I don't even know what this is, but I'll just put that in just so you see what it is. And that would be a series of photos that would open up at once. That's one of the, um, photos I did for the web, a screenshot. And I want to close it. I don't want to upload it. So I'm just going to that tiny little X and closing it. Okay, I'm going to say something about the photo. I will tag at my friend at Blaze Allen, and you'll note as soon as I do add, it brings up names of my friends. Took this photo a while ago, and I'm just now uploading it. Looks like a summer floater. I'm here in Florida, so a few people up. That you're looking at this in the winter it will give you a sense of warmth and just simply click post that photo will show up on my wall and it will show up there it is power and you'll see also there's photos up here and uh, the photo, sh oh, the photo is, since I didn't mark it that was me, it didn't go in there. It went into all my four photos that I have uploaded singly. Okay, now we're going to go to albums. Notice also, since I'm in the photo section, I can also add photos from here. Uh, just simply showing you that again the computer like when you're doing an attachment the computer opens up and you can work from there all right back to now on this photo I can once again add more tag the photo I might tag this because this will say blaze Allen took it uh, I'm not going to I'm not tagging that now. Okay, back to my page. Use the back arrow, we're here. And we'll do another one. Here's clicking on photo. Create a photo album. I'm now going into another area on my computer. Another folder that I have photographs in. And I have uh, reflection photos here through glass. And there's some. Now I'm going to hold down 
my control key, control, and I'm going to click. I'm sorry, if you're in a Windows, it would be control. On a Mac, it's the command key. And I'm uploading five photos. If I wanted to skip and add another one, I could just skip and add it in that way. I'll open these. And notice while we're waiting, there was a little notice down there. Somebody already commented she liked the photo. These are uploading. There's a choice of adding more photos. Up here is Untitled Album. So I'm going to type in there, type the album, the name of the album while it's loading. And I'm going to call it Through a Plastic Bottle, which is exactly what it is. Now there's the opportunity to write under each of these photos can also locate where it was, can do a whole range of things. I, where were these photos taken? I can, in Orlando, I can add a date to it, a whole range of things. And that's it. We're posting the photos. I can go in now, add a description. Photos taken on a, oh, a patio, it's not a patio, but through a plastic bottle. Okay, and there you'll see that I'm showing actually the environment. If you look at them one by one, you're not going to see that. And I'm saving what I put there. And that should be it. At any time, if I want to go back in, I can add more photos. I can edit. And I can share the album. I can delete it. So if I wanted to share it, I would send this to uh, my friend. Uh, send in a message. So I was talking to... A friend who's, and I, as soon as I did the ad, her name came up, and I'm sending this. I can add more of a message later. Okay, to get out of the album, I'm just going back to my homepage here. And you can see there it is showing. I can like it, make further comments. The edit there means I can Add, I can change photos, I can reposition it, I can hide it. It's a whole range of things, obviously, you can do. Okay, I said I will show you here also where to find the information in Facebook. You see this little gear up here, the gear on the right? It goes to, there's a help menu at the bottom of that gear. And just remembering that, it gives you all kinds of information. Uh, adding a cover, updating information, uh, sharing, sharing and hiding stories. Oh no, that was starring. Uh, don't see your issue above. Well, yesterday there was sharing. Thank you for visiting. Any comments below on this post below, I will have screenshots and spell it out in writing also. Again, Sheila Finkelstein, uh, technologyforseniorsmadeeasy.com.